New research has found that one in four people say they haven't had a meaningful conversation with another adult for the past fortnight, and the rate of people who report feeling lonely has doubled since May. The British Red Cross has urged UK leaders to act now to prevent loneliness emergency over the winter months when vulnerable people can feel most isolated. Well, someone who's been working hard to tackle loneliness is Tottenham legend Gary Mabbott. Uh, the former captain has called over 1,300 vulnerable Spurs fans since March in a bid to keep them company and check on their welfare. And we're delighted to be able to speak to Gary now alongside Martin Parkas, who has received a phone call from him. We'll come to Marcus in just a moment. Welcome to both of you. But Gary, I wanted to start with you first of all. And people are feeling incredibly lonely. People are feeling scared. Some people are shielding. Some people have been shielding since March. And, and you are one of them. So you know what it's like to shut that door and not have any visitors. Yes, uh, good morning to you both. It's great to see you both looking so well. And Holly, I love your outfit. Oh, well, thank you uh, so much. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, I had to self-isolate um, purely because I've been diabetic for the last 42 years and I was on four injections a day throughout my footballing career. So I had a heart bypass uh, a couple of years ago, so I'm now on sort of seven injections a day. So, yes, I've been self-isolating, but the main reason behind the cause was that all of us were sent home nine months ago from the new Spurs Stadium everyone working from home, and we had to find some ideas of how we could pass some of our time. So we decided it'd be great to be in contact our vulnerable supporters, people over the age of 70, and I spoke to people from the age of 70 to 99 years of age, mm. and we've been doing it for two or three hours every single day uh, for the last eight months, and it's been very worthwhile and very rewarding. You are uh, obviously... You know, one of those footballing, there are, which thankfully there are many footballing nice guys, but you're only booked 14 times, never sent off. <laughs> um, and you've done all of this under the radar, haven't you? It's not been one of those things that there's been a massive flag being waved. This is what we're doing. Um, it's all been quite quiet. Yes, uh, the main aim of it is, um, Phil, is that a lot of people out there are feeling very lonely, uh, it, being isolated. And the aim was just to be able to talk to them. Most conversations uh, take between 15 to 20 minutes. And one gentleman who was on for over an hour and a couple for about 45 minutes, but generally 15, 20 minutes. And during that time, you get a good impression if people are in a good place, they're in good spirits and they're coping well. If they're not coping so well, we have the Tottenham Hotspur Foundation who can then have healthcare experts who can then step in and assist people who have any issues. So I've got to be honest and say that... Uh, of all the calls I made in the last eight months, there's only been a handful of people that uh, have needed that assistance. And generally, people are keeping in good spirits, but they are very vulnerable, very lonely. And despite the lockdown easing in August and now this new lockdown, um, there are a lot of people out there who are still self-isolating and still need that compassion, that care and the support that everyone was showing at the start of the lockdowns. Yeah. That human connection is so important for everybody. Um, what, what happens when a legend like you calls up a Tottenham fan? Do they always believe it's actually you? No, I've had the phone put down on me quite a number of times. Um, <laughs> also had, uh, when I call them back, uh, I'll actually try and convince them that it really is me. They believe it's a scam or someone pranking them. Oh, and one gentleman who thought that I was his uh, best friend, who's a chemist, just kept telling me to get his wife's prescription delivered today. <laughs> So, no, it's been great, but uh, it's been some very interesting conversations. And so a lot of the, the vulnerable people and our Spurs fans, I mean, one gentleman was 99 years of age, and his memory of going to see Spurs back in the 1930s and 40s was absolutely amazing. So, yes, it's been some very interesting conversations, and it's just lovely to be able to talk to people, and they are all missing their families, all missing their grandchildren mostly. Mm. But here in the UK, we love sports. And sports brings people together. And at the moment, with no fans allowed back into stadiums, for a lot of the vulnerable people, they go to watch matches with their children, their grandchildren. It's a, it's a day out every single week. They go to the special day out. And that's not being there for them. And so oh, it's just a way to keep in touch, making sure they're keeping OK. But as I say, there are a lot of people in this country that are still vulnerable. And despite the fantastic, exciting news about uh, the Biontech and the, the Pfizer vaccine, it's still not going to be in place probably until next Easter at the earliest, probably. So this is going to last throughout the winter. The nights are closing in and people need that support still. Yeah, sure. Well, you and the, the, the club have been absolutely incredible to, 
to do this. And and we don't know how many others are, are doing it because, we, as we said, you know, you've kept this, until you found out, kept this pretty much under the radar. You've had the conversation um, 1,380 times, which was, you got up to that number yesterday. One of those was Martin, Martin Pincus, who's 76, he's a widower, got two sons, five grandchildren, um, a lifelong Spurs fan. It was his birthday on Saturday oh, and he got a call. Thing. Happy birthday for last Happy Saturday, birthday, uh, Thank Martin. Thank you very much indeed. Thank How you. How did it feel like having uh, a, a, a legend like Gary give you a call? Did you believe it was him? Well, I did. I, it was really strange because I was on the phone to my younger son who'd phoned to wish me happy birthday and my mobile rang and uh, this voice said, hello, it's Gary Mabbott. And he's got such a recognisable voice anyway. And it was just, I can't tell you, such a thrill to talk to um, a Spurs legend, an ex-Tottenham captain, uh, watched him at Wembley lifting up the FA Cup. Um, just absolutely still can't get over it. I mean, it was amazing. And, and I think Gary touched on it there, really, that, you know, we love sport here and these are big family events, these are big family days out and it offers that connection and we're not getting that now. And you started going to the game in 1949 with your dad, you, you've been going with your yeah. grandchildren and, of course, all of this has been taken away from you. And so how are you? How are you coping during this lockdown? I, I, I'm very lucky. Um, as I say, I've got a wonderful family. I've got sons, daughter-in-laws, grandchildren a wonderful network of um, friends as well who we speak regularly on the phone. Uh, uh, so I'm speaking to people every single day. So yes, I'm coping. Um, I, I fully understand there's a lot of vulnerable people out there who don't have that. And I, you know, I really, really feel for them. Uh, but, I, but I'm one of the lucky ones uh, that, that you know, has friends and family that I, I can speak to every day. Oh, that is very lucky, Martin. Thank you. And uh, and Gary, just finally, we all need that sort of contact, don't we? We all need someone to break the loneliness and the monotony. Yes, Philip, and especially, say, as I've said to you before, uh, you know, the days are closing in, it's getting very dark, very early in the afternoons, and we've all been in lockdown during the summertime when we had some fantastic weather. But with it is at the moment, over the winter, People need that support. People need those phone calls. And uh, whether it be family, friends, neighbours, whoever you know that's got somebody in the vulnerable age group, you know, I would implore you to, despite all the fantastic news coming out today, it's going to be quite a long time still before the vaccines are in place. So they need that real support and it does really help them. Thank, thank you, you, Gary. Lovely thank you. Talk and thank uh, you. Martin, thank you. Lovely to talk to you as well. Bye, Martin. Thanks thank you both. very much. And can I just say again, thank you to Gary. It was such a thrill. It really was. Lovely. But it's a real pleasure. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, gents. Thanks, Philip. Thanks, Holly. Take uh, care. Pleasure. Bye -bye. You too. Bye.